Hey guys, and welcome back to, um, I nearly said Let's Play. And welcome back to my tutorial on RPG Maker VX Ace. Today, what I'm going to be showing you is, um, another variables tutorial, but this time it's a bit different. This is going to involve using variables. Uh, it's quite hard to explain, really. And for this, I'm actually going to need a wall. So, I'm just going to draw a basic wall here. It doesn't have to have a roof, but I need to give it one. That looks so awful, but I don't care. Right, we're going to need that, and then we're going to need a fenced off area. Hopefully you can't go behind there. Whatever. Okay. I keep doing that wrong. There we go. Oh, god damn. Pardon me. Right, and then here, what we want, what the lilla, what we'll want is a door. I'm I'm using most things that I'm showing now off of my game because these are the kinds of things I've used for these kind of events. What you'd be wanna what you'd be wanna using what you'd wanna be using is doors like uh, them or ones that w like move or even that one or something. Right, and then when that happens, uh, you can do that. I've not I've not done this in my game before, and also with a door. Make sure direction fix is applied or ticked, because if walking animation is ticked and direct fix isn't, as soon as you hit the action button on that door, it will shift the graphics down to that one, which looks really weird. If you put direct fix on, it won't do it, so. Right, what you need to do is just put the door there, and then on here, you'll want to have... Uh... It's on one of the tile sets. It's on C, actually. What you'd want is you can have anything. I pr prefer, and it isn't on here. It's on tile set B. Um, you could use anything, but I prefer to use. Where the hell is it? Is it other? Or am I confusing myself? I can't remember where it is. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna have to keep like searching. <laughs> I've lost where it is. It's somewhere. This is not a good start, people. No, it's not there. So it's if it's B or C. Or is it here? Oh shit, I know why. Um it's because the tile set I'm using for this place is different, I think. Yeah, I need like a the dungeon tile set, I think. Only downside is I can't use a fence. So we'll just have to see what this changes stuff to. That'll do, actually. The only thing that I do need to change is the wall. Because it's gone all weird. Right, let's go on that. There we go. And then just sod it. I don't care. Right, now I can show you. That was a big fail. Right, what you want to do. Go onto here, tile set B or C. And you'll see it's changed because the tile set's different. Right, it's on C. Yes, it is. Okay. No, we didn't. Where is it? Oh my god, this is such a fail. Is it B then? Aha, here it is. B. What you want is like a tablet or something. And then just put something like there is a tablet here. What? do you do and then after that you just put show choices and then destroy the tablet or nothing and I'm just gonna leave that as it is now and then just copy it paste 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 I'm using 4 because this gra I'm gonna do something new with the graphics. I've not doing it, done it yet. When destroy the tablet. Oh shit, what would that do? Show text. You strike the. You strike. <laughs> you strike the tablet. Okay, so that should be fine. And then that would be. I think that would be something like, con it would be control variables, but it wouldn't be random sign number, you'd just change it to, um, to tablets destroyed, or tablet tables, 
tablets destroyed, like so. And then on that, you wouldn't, I don't think you'd set it, you'd just add one to it. Or is it set? No, it'd be add. Add one. And then, okay, I think it would be like, when variable is one, or above, and then you just go something like, where is it now? There. That, so it does destroy it. But then, tablet destroyed is that. This might not work. I'll need four event pages. I'm just trying something new. It's not necessarily going to work. And that will occur when one tablet or above. Okay, we'll just try that. Okay. Actually, I'm trying to think of what I can do. Or how I can do it. Actually, I know what I'll do. I'll just go on that, and then... I'll just keep this... I'll just copy that to everything. Actually, no, I won't. I'll just... Might as well just copy this event across to everything. Like, that, and that, and that. Son of a bitch, it didn't copy it. Copy... Delete... Delete, delete... And I think I've actually just deleted the wrong event. Oh no, I did it. Thank God. And then that would be if, if two are above. This isn't sh how you should do it. You should have it so you can destroy any of the uh, tablets in any order. To do that, all you'd need to do is have a switch uh, after you've destroyed a tablet. And then just change it. That should be three, not two. That should be two. Right there. And now all I need to do is I think the door. Right, tablet is one or above, then variable two. Oh no, that would want to be like. That would be one of the. There, there. That would want to be that anyway. No, it doesn't matter. That can be fine. That's fine. That would just be there. Okay. You know what, I'm just gonna leave that now. This is taking way too long because I've complicated it. And it's kind of annoying. Okay, so it's that one, that's fine, that's fine. That would want to be two. And then change the door graphic to that one. And then the fourth graphic would be after three are destroyed, and then you just want text. The door crumbled but if you want that to happen automatically because uh, that it'll disappear as soon as far are gone so you'd want it to be low characters parallel process and then you just have a self switch like you would on auto run then just create a new event page with the self switch turned on let's try this I don't know if it'll work I'm hoping it will but you never know do you Let's just see. Right, the door is there, so that's fine. Right, let's just see. They're all below characters, for fuck's sake. I'm an idiot, because I keep forgetting to do it. Son of a bitch. I'm so. It's so bloody dumb that it sets them to, like, below characters automatically. Ah, oh, man. Let's just try this. New game. Right, straight to the tablets. Tablet here, what do you do? You strike the tablet. Yep, it gets cracked. Then the... D look, 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 the door's cracked. Strike the tablet. Destroy the tablet, even. You strike the tablet. That should get turned to, like, not nearly destroyed. Yep. And then that, there's a cr uh, tablet here, what do you do? Destroy it. Strike the tablet. The door crumbled. Yes! It did work, actually. That's quite a cool little feature, and um, yeah, so that's the end of the variables tutorial, or the second variables tutorial, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, till next time, take care guys.